Yum, yum, yum. Little Montessori action this morning. We're getting the jobs done. What you doing, Ryan? Uh, I'm working on my job. Okay. I'm enjoying your breakfast this morning, Bubba. Yeah. Oatmeal, banana, cinnamon, and turmeric. All right, party people. So I am making dinner at home tonight and watching the game from home so I can put little man to sleep. And then I'm having some girlfriends over for dinner. So I'm gonna be making a vodka sauce for some pasta. I hope I like this light on, it's a lot better. No, the consensus from the votes um, was vodka sauce. So we're gonna make a scratch um, vodka sauce. It's basically a red, tomato-based sauce that has vodka in it. It's very simple. I honestly was hoping that you guys would have went for um, the roasted red pepper cream, which I've done on here before, um, but you guys chose the vodka sauce. So you chose the simpler of the two, which, given the time constraints, is actually a great thing. So I have here, I'm gonna be moving the camera back and forth quite a bit. Um, I have here, how do I turn this around? Oh, there we go. I have here some pancetta that I've um, chopped up. If this is not a traditional vodka sauce, this is my spin and take on it. So this is some pancetta that I've chopped up. I like that because I'm gonna render the fat from it in order to um, get some nice uh, fat to saute our onions. I'm gonna chop up a whole yellow onion, um, then go in with some butter, pour in the vodka, let it simmer so that we cook the alcohol out. I have two cans of crushed tomatoes here. I'm using 32 ounce cans, so this is 64 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Um, and then we're gonna finish it off with some heavy cream cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese and chili flake. Okay, mouthful. But let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go grab, we have like, this is so crazy. This is actually a good um, test of time because we have um, like 15 minutes I think 25 minutes until tip off for the game. So this is perfect. You'll see how fast it moves um, and how truly what I think is easy these recipes are. Um, so I'm gonna run and grab an onion. I'll be right back. Ashley, so Ashley, so guys, here's the thing. Like a lot of the times when I cook, I'm just cooking. I usually don't have everything I need on hand and I improvise. That's sort of how I fell in love with the art of cooking so much. So I just went in my pantry and, let me double check. I didn't have a yellow onion. I have a red or a purple onion. So I'm gonna use that um, instead and it's gonna be fine. So you improvise, whatever you have on hand. Red, yellow, blue, they don't actually make those, but if that's what you have, use it. Yeah, that's for our cocktails. So Ashley is here for girls night uh, to, for this watch party we're calling it. And, oh, you did your makeup today, so you're gonna be <laughs> in the camera. Wow! No, just my foundation. No, so you guys probably know her like that she, as she does my makeup a lot, but she's actually one of my really good friends. Oh, uh, oh Jesus! Christ. Now she's gonna start crying. You she's actually cry. one of my really good, become one of my really good friends, um, and so. She's here to eat. You, you're not. My stomach looks funny because I'm. I still have that dang waist trainer on. I yeah. mean, it, I'm not gonna lie. It does snatch you, but this joint hurts, guys. Wait, what's that one? I don't know. I just got it. I'm trying it for the first time. All right. So onion, onion cutting 101. This, all this chatter is gonna super prolong this process. But let me see if I can set up my camera here. Oh, actually, that's not bad. So you guys see this onion. This is the safe way to cut an onion. First step is you get my knife from my collection. No, I'm just joking. But if you do want it, if you do want this knife, um, you can get it on shophomemade.com. Uh, we have all sorts of colors. They come in sets. The whole kit and caboodle. Amazon as well. Whatever tickles your fancy. But here, I have cut the onion in half. Remove the skin. Cut the onion in half. The key is to guard your fingers. So you wanna give a claw like on top of the onion, just like so. And then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut like three to four slits. I gotta tell you, like cutting with these nail tips that I have on, 
No bueno. So you want to cut like that, and then you're going to go. So you see, let me see. See, I have lines there. Then you're want, going to want to go down the side and cut a ton of, um, cut a ton down here, but not all the way through. So you want to go about three quarters of the way to about right there so that you don't, your onion doesn't fall apart. So I'm going to go like that, and we're just going to cut through, and then I'll show you that. And then the second one, I'm just going to go for it due to the time constraints. Okay, so there, you see we have the cuts there. Oh my God, my eyes are watering. All right, so then we're gonna take our knife and we're just gonna chop, chop, chop. All right, and there you go, look at this. I'm gonna show you on my cutting board here, you have quick diced onion, just like that. Break it up with your hands and you can see it's a nice, even dice. Perfecto, all right. So let's put, I'm gonna put you guys back where you were before. Let's see how that looks. All right, good. So I'm gonna chop up the rest of this onion. So we'll just call it half of an onion. Um, and I like to do this so that you guys, you know, cause honestly, Instagram's crazy, right? You don't know if somebody actually does what they say they do. And so I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me to show you guys that I really do cook and that I love it with my whole heart and that it can be easy with a few quick tips. All right, so half of my onion. I'm gonna get my stove on now. We're gonna do medium high heat and I'm actually gonna throw that pancetta in there while the in an empty nonstick pot while um, the pot is cool, before it totally heats up. And as it heats, it's gonna render out that fat um, and make the most delicious, flavorful, salty oil that you've ever, or lard, I guess in this case, that you've ever tasted in your life. I'm gonna get a hand towel. So while that fat is rendering, I'm a multitasker. So while that fat is rendering, we're gonna get our chicken going. So I have here some chicken breast. Um, because this pasta, when it's all said and done, is going to have some chicken in it. I'm going to chop it up after we uh, sear it in some cast iron. My rub for the chicken is simple. I have a little bit of cumin. I would say a half a teaspoon. I have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Two tablespoons of paprika. A pinch of black pepper. And a couple of pinches of salt. I'm gonna mix that together, just like so. And there you have the most fragrant, delicious rub for your chicken. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the package. No, I don't use gloves um, when I'm at home, but I do use tongs to keep everything moving. So I have a cutting board down here. This is not on my countertop. I have a plastic cutting board that I only use for meat. That. Open up the second package. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear that pot sizzling, but the fat is rendering out perfect. Have the chicken breast here. Hands are still clean because I used the tongs. And all I'm basically going to do is um, take my rub and sprinkle it all over this chicken. Just coat it, go to town. Because we monitored the salt, you can't you can't go overboard with this. I like to make it in bulk and store it in a little container. Um, in my oh yeah, store it in a little container in my um, spice cabinet. So I'm gonna flip these over, nice and quick, and we're gonna get the rub on the other side of the chicken here. How are we looking? 723, all right. So my water for my pasta is boiling. We're using rigatoni today. Takes about 14 minutes in water. And crazy enough, this is actually what they used in um, Italy as well when I was there for my trip, which is kind of crazy. Um, I've, I've always seen it at the grocery store, but didn't actually think that's what they were really using, and it was. So in goes my pasta. You wanna make sure your pasta water is salty like the sea. 
I don't like putting oil in my pasta, so here we go. Right into the water. Lovely. Okay, my chicken is going. My fat is rendering. It's got a ways to go, actually, this pancetta. I want to get that nice and brown. I'm actually going to turn up the heat to high and try and get that fat rendered out. Okay, I'm going to set aside this board because I need to get the stove heated up to start grilling up this chicken. You guys all know I love cast iron. So I'm going to get out my cast iron skillet, put the heat on medium high. Again, let it get nice and hot. These chicken breasts should take five to 10 minutes. I'm sorry, yeah, five to 10 minutes, so five minutes each side. Get a nice sear, cook through. They're pretty thin, so we shouldn't have any issues. All right, let's check on our pan shut <coughs> All right, so oh, yeah, I'll show you guys. So you can see that fat is rendering. Again, remember, we didn't put any oil in here. So this is all the natural lard from that pancetta. <clears throat> I got some black pepper in my nose and it's driving me crazy. I'm fine with dipping and diving back and forth because this is all going the same place. So I have no issues with it. Okay. So now that that's rendered a good bit, I'm going to throw in my onion now. I'll let you guys keep looking at that. In goes my onion. Got a couple more handfuls. Okay. Don't like that piece. I'm gonna pick it out. All right. I still want to make sure my onions have flavor. So we're gonna let those keep cooking while that's going. Again, multitasking here, people. I'm gonna get about two to three tablespoons, one, two, three, of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna let that get nice and hot. You can always tell when the oil's hot, um, when it starts to really move around and doesn't look so thick anymore. So it's almost there. That's going, look at that gorgeous fat. Now the key to a good uh, vodka sauce, fortunately, unfortunately for some, but fortunately for me, is butter. So I have here, sorry guys, worst camera person, a quarter stick of butter, and that's gonna melt down and cook down and mix with the oil. My butter's not gonna burn because of that lard. It's a great marriage. So see, there we go. It looks beautiful. My oil is hot now. Hello, wait. I gotta put a filter on this thing. There we go. My oil is hot now. And so I'm gonna take my breast and just put it right into the oil, just like so. I have this one going in. Now in this instance, honestly, I'm not too worried about crowding my pan. I just wanna make sure these are nice and brown and cooked through, and then it's getting chopped up. Looks beautiful, let me get another little slotted spoon. Put that there. Okay, so our butter is almost completely melted. Oh, I mean, what, like honestly, what is better than that? I don't know, you tell me. All right, so that's looking really good. Butter's melted. Now the fun part, vodka for the vodka sauce. I'm using this vodka today. P.S., this is not an ad. I'm literally just cooking for my girl's night, so don't, don't even go there with me. But the key with any sort of alcohol that you're cooking with, I cannot stress enough to make sure that you're using a wine or a vodka or a rum, um, whatever it is, something that you would actually drink. Because if you don't like the taste of it, why put it in your food, right? So you wanna use a good quality liquor. So I have here some vodka. And we're gonna put in about a cup and it's gonna cook off with the heat. So this is totally 
about a cup, um, and that's gonna cook off in the sauce. So we're gonna let it steam and cook off so that there's no alcohol content in the sauce. Just the flavor. All right, so our chicken is sounding nice. Let's flip it over and see what we got, okay? So I'm gonna give it a flip. Perfect. You want that golden brown color? Flip it in order that I put it in. Golden brown color. Lovely. All right. So what I'm going to do now, because I have it on medium high, I'm actually going to take one of my other pot lids that I think will fit onto this. Nope, not that one. This one. It will fit onto there. And I'm gonna let the chicken sort of steam out so it cooks faster on medium heat. So that's just gonna take care of itself. And in about seven minutes, it should be ready to go and we'll chop it up and get it in our sauce. Let's check on those noodles again. Nowhere near ready. All right. So now we have that gorgeous butter, vodka, pancetta mixture. All right, I'm gonna go in with my crushed tomatoes. Stir that around. And we're gonna bring this up to a fast simmer. I wanna get all of that incorporated. I'm gonna get a tasting spoon to see how much we need to salt this bad boy. So I'm gonna grab a bowl to serve this thing in, but I'm gonna pour some of my sauce here directly into that pasta pot with the locking lid. So I'm gonna unlock the lid. See all that steam heat coming from my undercarriage? No, I'm just joking. Name that movie. Name that movie. All right, so we have our vodka sauce here. It's, it's a rolling simmer, not a boil, but it's really simmering. And we are going to take some of that sauce, because I made double the sauce, because um, I'm gonna make, once I get off of live here, I'm gonna make more noodles. Um, so I'm just gonna pour some of that sauce, just like so, directly into um, my pasta mixture. I'm gonna scoop some of that tomato-y goodness right into there, and then we're gonna mix this together. yum -ers. Okay, important step, Parmesan cheese. About a cup, I'm just gonna layer it in, and it's gonna get cheesy and delicious. Oh, the game started. All right, we're just about done. Wow, just about done. Looks great. Oh my God. Okay, almost done. A little bit more cheese. The cheesier, the better, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna get a serving bowl. I like this guy because it's nice and big and looks pretty when the food is in it. Okay, beautiful, oh my goodness. Woo. Oh, you guys can't see. Um, ah. Let's see if you can sit there. Okay, that works. We're just gonna pour it right into our bowl, just like so. Gonna take my cooked chicken I need to get like a tripod or something. I'm gonna take my chicken and just put it on the top, just like so. Cooked chicken, delicious. Yummers, yummers, yummers. All right. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of black pepper um, and sprinkle it over the top. I'm gonna quickly chop up this parsley. Hi, Share Bear. My Share Bear's here. 
I'm gonna chop up this parsley and garnish, and then that'll be it. So let me show you the finished product. Two seconds. There we go. Vodka rigatoni with yummy spiced chicken, Parmesan cheese, lots of love, and lots of flavor. And you. Peace.